Yeah, there you go. It's the crew. And by the crew, I just mean Fraser, but there's someone else here today. What is going on? What's going on? Fraser, what's going on? Please tell um, me. Well, as you can tell from... I'm not Fraser, because as you can tell from my hair, it's really long, so I'm Ellen. Nice to meet you. Oh. Hi, Ellen. Um, no, nah, I'm Fraser. That's Ellen. I was about to say I'm Fraser, and oh. he's Ellen. Fuck, I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined the creativity. Well, we're here. We're back doing another... Uh, well, whatever they called the the much anticipated river vlogs. This is episode three exactly. of the river vlogs. Fizz and Fizz. That's uh, that was one of the names. It's, ha it's had many nicknames. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, we're here down on the. This is this is called the Torrens River, isn't it? Yeah, That's the Torrens. Yeah, river. Torrens. The Torrens. The River Torrens. It's a very Australian sounding name, or British or something like that. This one's very close to my house this time, so if you ever want to find me, just know where this is. That's right. That's right, Mr. Uh, Snacky <coughs> redacted uh, 2000 <coughs> redacted. Um, oh, there's a there's a park over there. Oh my god, we're exploring new ground every day. No, actually, I was I did actually come over to this place. I used to walk through here probably about 10 to 15 years ago. And my nanny Joan was still with us, and uh, yeah, she, we used to walk down here and that. And I, I remember there used to be like an older park, I can't remember where it is, but. There, there was like an older park, but I think this, this is new, isn't it? Or at least sort of within the last 10 years, I think. I think there's a lot of uh, development that they've done around for yeah. a while. It's quite, you know, the best thing about it being uh, in the winter, Fallon, is that you actually get to see quite good, um, also a grass. The yeah. grass is excellent. That's, that's one benefit about this place, actually, because uh, a lot of the time the grass is you know, shit, because Pretty of, much. you know, Australia, but, uh, yeah. So many random birds, and uh, if you look carefully, I've seen a water rat here before. So a water rat? What's that? Yeah, um, it's a rat that can swim. Oh, God. It's so bad, like, I was feeding the ducks, and this rat came out of nowhere and started eating the food of the ducks. It's really annoying. What a scum. Is it a thing? Or is um, it just a rat? A rat. Yeah, pretty much a rat that can swim. It's pretty scary. Like, it's one thing to fall into this water because it's all dirty. Yeah. So no one's heard of a rat. So. Uh, yeah. Lord knows what else. Pretty much, yeah. Like I saw like two um, other birds over there that looked like they were like shaped like ducks, but then their oh, yeah. beaks were like thin. I've like, uh, never yeah. seen that before. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even know the name. There's a word for it. It's not duck. Um, should we end up on? I'm wondering if there's a way to get to Yeah, there is a bridge down there. Right. Once we get to the bridge down there, go on this side because um, when you get to the bridge, that giant bridge, uh, there's a bunch of signs that have info on stuff like... Um, what they're uh, called? Yeah. Oh, look at that one. What the f... Is that, is that his head? <laughs> what the hell? Is that, is that a duck? No, it's back. Yeah, that, that has a small beak, like the other one that's back okay. over there. There's some birds that I don't even know what they are. <laughs> the thing about Australia is just things you don't even know what they are. <laughs> then I saw other birds that were like looked a bit like pigeons, pigeons, except they were like red from like their stomach and like um, under their wings as well. Okay. They're trying to. Well, I can't remember what this animal was called. Look at him. Oh, Dina would love this. She loves. Hey man. Here, and just ah, is he the noise? Yeah. Ah. Make a noise, please. <laughs> please, boss. <bolts. laughs> so it's, it's so look. It's searching for the. It's trying to eat. The thing, it's trying to eat these things they're planting. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. That's a nice mane. So yeah, this this you are, this is actually I think an Australian exclusive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, hey, it kind of hops rather yeah. than jump, rather than walks. It's kind of scooping up stuff. Yeah. I, that kind of makes me think there might be something like worms or bugs here. Oh, look at these things. I love it. It's pretty cool. Maybe they eat the lizards. Or that like... would be pretty funny if they could. Yeah. There could be like small geckos, I think. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just the fucking ruining the plant. Yeah. yeah. Go away, you little shits. 
So much for all the hard work. Well, they're sitting down there relaxing as like, like guys. Hello. <laughs> they just fucked up the plant. They worked hard to plant those things, and they just fucked. Like, <laughs> I wonder what the red stripes mean, like the one, the hanging on the branches. We're going at a party out here. Oh, it's bait. What are you, you trying to intimidate me, mate? Fight him. I'll fight you. Actually, I would never fight him. I'd lose. And those things kind of look like the things that would peck out your eyes. And... Yep. Look at their eyes. They're phenomenal. I love how they hop around. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever seen any of these up close here, so it's pretty cool that we get to see them. Now. Yeah. Are they galahs? Is that what they call them? Um, I'm just trying to debate whether they're galahs, kookaburras, or cockatoos. I can't remember. Oh, I think they're cockatoos. Yeah, I reckon yeah. they're cockatoos. Yeah, that's right. My Australian bird knowledge sucks. Oh, mister. Hello. That's really up close. Yeah. Yes, Pigeon no. man. Oh my god, these things are fucking <laughs> hell, man. These yeah, things, what are they doing? Holy shit. The, the pigeons aren't usually this aggressive. Yeah, these dudes, they're really marking their territory. Crazy. Fuck me. Food out Jesus. Of god, let's get out. No let's food. get out of here. Let's get out of here. Shit. Alright, so we're gonna, uh, we're looking for a sign which will actually talk about the, the, the life forms that we've seen here. Uh, uh, right by that bridge. Okay, awesome. Um, right. bridge. Excellent. That you would, you would have likely have crossed on the way here unless you took the airport road. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? Alright. Uh, it's just, no, no, don't record this, it's between me and you. <laughs> you like that? You like that, baby? <laughs> you like that? I, I always feel bad for her because she believes it. I right? know, right? She yeah. actually believes it. And then, bam, it's like... <laughs> you filming? Yeah. Oh, cool. You like that? You like that, subscribers? What is it? You like that? I don't subscribe right now. It's <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, we, we've lost a lot of... See, look at this. This is what I love. Come here. We haven't actually seen this yet, so far. Um, where the water is actually on par with... The, like so, you, could, you know, if you wanted to jump in or yeah. whatever, you can walk this, in. If we want to save the environment, we don't actually have to jump into the river. Yeah. In Wait fact, a minute. Boys. Yes. Boys and girls, guys. The guys. Like, guys, yeah. look at this. Look at this filth. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Wait. Guys, this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. Tiny, <laughs> tiny fucking teddies. Oh wait. Unacceptable. Take it down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? It's better not. Right. Is there a bin anywhere? Um, I genuinely want to make a difference. Here we go. I'm picking it up. <laughs> All right. Look, we've made a difference, guys. We've. Look, that that woman's watching. That, you have to get your hands dirty. That woman's dirty. watching us over there. Jackie's watching us. There is a bin up there. Oh, there's a bin. Okay. Well, you don't have to film that. That's all good. Swan, come back. No, I was trying. Okay, yeah, don't stop him. We'll go the other. We'll go up here. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, come on, come on this way. Bigger than the ants. Yeah, shit. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I've never seen this many. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Man, look at that thing. Jesus. I don't want to mess with that. So it's like you know, this is really nostalgic because like it's so like I don't I, I reckon I, I honestly feel like I've seen more animals today than I did yeah. back when I was a kid. Exactly. Like I've seen a bit of everything. I haven't seen more animals here today than I usually do. Because of how many animals we've seen today, this might be one of those days. What's that? Okay, let's go over there. This is honestly quite a moment. A yeah, it really is. It is a nature documentary. That's what the uh, that's what the subtitle. I mean, the uh, you know secondary title of this will be. All right. Nature watch. Nature watch. The fizz. Fi oh, there's back again. It's back again. Andrew is unleashing his inner David Attenborough. Uh, and we see this wonderful, oh beautiful, truly 
truly wonderful area here. We have a black swan. I really wish I had bread. We have bread family up birthday thing at the beach. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I got here by walking. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was a long walk. Underneath those benches, I, I checked the benches so it's fine, don't feel alarmed or anything, yeah. but there was some snakes under there. Seriously? Yeah, a whole family actually. Holy like, shit. I, I saw some bird and it looked like it was struggling and I didn't know why. And I looked down here to see what was going on and there was like a family of snakes like these like even baby snakes and when i got close they heard my vibration and started like slithering all over the place and i fucking legged it like, that would be i actually ran genuinely terrified i ran and i got to those rocks and i just fucking legged it across yeah you would i was actually afraid i would be more than terrified don't worry hey jump in yes ah yes. oh, yeah Damn! Oh, look at that! Look at the new one, blue, a blue one, blue crest. Look, look at that thing. Dang! All this nature ruined by capitalism. <laughs> what are you? I love it. We're just at one with them. You know, like we don't give a fuck. Like exactly. It. So this here is a famous crossing, or oh, sort of famous. Um, you can go, you can actually walk across. It's pretty, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it safe, but it's definitely awesome. Um, look at the water. Yeah. It, the water seems just slightly too high. I don't know. It looks like if you could fly it could easily slip it and knock out. Yeah. That's the probably the biggest issue, yeah. Um hmm. so, and it's, it's I I would do it, but the only problem is that I don't know if Ellen's safe doing it, like because yeah. it is sort of I, I've done it before so I'm alright. Um, I've been in here before and I, I did try it not too long ago, um, when the water was kinda like this and yeah, it it it's more the problem with slipping than how, how wet the rocks get and that it, it makes the surface harder to, for your shoes to grip on. That's right, yeah. So it's, it is possible, just you have to be like absolutely sure that you, you have to use all your balance. Basically. Yeah. Like don't rush it is basically it. Um, We're doing it. Gotta be extra careful. Okay, now here's the big problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're trapped. This, this one's a bit too tall. Alright, so here we are, back again, and we've encountered some horses. Some horses. Not the Pokemon. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't mean to. Hey, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> Told you, Crystal Fish is a Nazi, unsubscribe. <laughs> Bonk! Thanks guys, no worries. worries. We didn't really actually do anything, but you know, whatever. Yeah, so here's some horses. They just, what do they do? They just sort of hang out. They're owned by someone, right? I they, believe so, yes. Yeah. And this is, um, I, I guess, a bit of a horse paddock, so they're kept here and looked after. Yeah. I'm not sure how or why or who looks after them, but. You know, if they got good enough, they could probably jump the fence. Like, you know, uh, you know imagine, they actually, imagine if they accidentally bought jumps training horses. <laughs> yes. You know, and then they just, you know, like. Actually, I don't know how high the jumps are, though. I think there might be either smaller than that or the same. I, don't, I can't remember. Yeah. Like imagine if a horse figured out how to get through here, that'd be crazy. 
This area has a real, uh, real vibe to it. Yeah, I can go. Yeah, it's been a, it's been kind of the more faded look because the sun has, um, the sun's sort of like gone more out now. It's kind of more, like more murky, which is definitely more European thing. Yeah, you feel like some Yes. Hello. Peach is dead. Oh, we're getting close to the horses. Oh. That is a good horse fit. Fuck, I wasn't even recording that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking to a camera. But look, look at this, the colour over there. Look at that. You should get a shot of that now. It's like the Toy Story sky. You know, from the yeah. first, you know, where, you know, yes. like, yeah. You've got a friend in me. Look, look at that, like, that, that cloud there is, like, exactly like from Toy Story, like, exactly. with the, yeah. I, that, that reminds me, maybe if I do get it back into Let's Playing, I should return with a third Let's Play of Toy Story 2. Yeah, well, I, I, I want to see, I've, I, I've I, had to I, see that. I, I can actually do that, I wouldn't, because I, I, I love that game, like. I said Marvel it's, it's such a simple game, yeah, it, it's just, it's... It's, it's simplicity is what yes. makes it so fun. I could like, play 20 games in that exact same style. I think Wait, so. Wait, one thing we got to get 50 collectibles, one thing where you got to do a certain task, a mini boss. I do that forever. That's one of my favorite gameplay types of all time. I, I think um, one thing that sucks about technology in the, the current gaming industry is people think bigger is better. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the biggest. That's one of the biggest. Whereas, um, you know, Arkham Knight and all that? Yeah. I saw a really good... Um, a review on it from a game developer um, that said, uh, you know, they, uh, the thing is, uh, the game mechanics are, have been sacrificed. So you've got Arkham Asylum, which is apparently a really good game. Yeah, I heard it's, it. it's very self contained yeah. in a very small environment. So everything's been designed very particularly. Mm -hmm. Whereas Arkham Knight is so huge and expansive that they've, they've thrown in just missions for the sake of having content that haven't got as much detail in it right. to make it fun. Right. And one thing I, I, whenever I watch any Arkham Knight gameplay, it gives me a headache because there's so much graphics and physics going on that it's just like, I, you know, I prefer and then, and low graphics. Part, part of that, part of that is what the audience have conditioned themselves to see. Now, that's what audiences want because they've been told that that's what you want. You know, yeah, they've, they've been told much. that. They've been told that this is what you want. You want bigger and better every time. That's a tiny horse. That's, that's like a pony. Is that a fucking pony? Not my little pony. You filming? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, Equestria Confidential, your number one source for horse and yeah. horse shit. If you want to look over right over there, look at that well, horse shit. Pony, nonetheless. Pony shit. Pony. All right, you, you reckon that's a pony? Uh, I think it's a pony. TFW you know, at least I wanted a pony. Yes. Rivers is that we've actually got to the mouth of the river, or, or you know, so that that there's the river, what you're seeing, and it goes straight out into the water. So it's that it's definitely a really really cool aspect of um, of this. You know, rarely do you get to see the mouth. I think I think I think half of this you haven't even been able to hear me because you just sort of linger off like you just like I'm bored with what Andrew's saying. No, no I just want to film the nature as well. Um, I wish I had a $2,000 video camera. Yeah, me too. I wish I had Anders' new camera. What, what's this camera like? No, nah, it wasn't even that bad. It was like 600 plus or something. That's pretty cool. This one was like 580. Oh. Um, we, won't, we won't walk too far on the beach just because um, it's, otherwise it'd be too far back to the other places. But yeah, he's getting up. skills because I got to think very quickly so if I do let's plays again I'll it will it will challenge my mind to come up with stuff and I'll be like a better speaker because I picked up a lot of things as well with my mannerisms in that I, I, I just make a lot of random noises like 
I make a lot of noises like that. So um, it's just kind of like talking to me must be like really annoying because it's just like even now I'm just kind of like just not even knowing what the hell to say. Yeah, if I had a let's play, it would just be really awkward because I wouldn't know like what to say all the time. Yeah, and yeah, yes. that's the thing because you have to keep talking constantly. The late, or rather not late, but the early Johnny Natrium has uh, commended me on my solo let's playing uh, talents uh, multiple times. Uh, and I, you know, I think there is a credit to where credit's due there. I think with, with commentary by yourself, it is harder to sort of know what to say. Yeah. But I think that, yeah, it's sort of just practice. And so if you do that, it definitely helped. But I mean, also it'd be good for you to get commentators as well, because then it creates a more yeah. conversational vibe. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking about Johnny. Johnny, if you're watching this, you're fucking hilarious, and I love every Let's Play you do. Yeah, see, we've got a genuine I'm, fan here. I'm your number one fan. If you started selling t-shirts, I'd buy them. I'd yeah. buy all your merchandise. Oh, shit. That reminds me, I've got an Unlisted Leaf t-shirt that I've got to put oh, on yes. soon. He bought a, a, like a special uh, limited edition t-shirt. If he's watching this, don't worry, I'll wrap it soon. I'm tempted to buy one, but it's... <laughs> Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. Yeah. It's kind of like, I, 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 I love the work, I want to support it. But I'm not a big fan as much, like, because I'm not a Pokemon card collector, so I don't, when I watch it, it's just like, I don't even know what Pokemon that is. Yeah, that's well, I mean, I don't know half of them anymore. Yeah. I used to. Alright, so we're on our way back. Oh, yeah, I don't even know half of the new Pokemon. Yeah, no, this is an ice cream Pokemon, which is. I, a... I used to collect them, but I didn't know how to play the game. Oh, re no, re no. I just collected them. Oh, yeah. Me neither, we're just oh, throwing, yeah. like, as kids with Hey, look, cards it's a Holt and Catch Fire angle. Side angle. Oh, yeah. Holt and Catch Fire. It's a great TV show on AMC, fucking amazing. If it gets cancelled, I'm gonna die. It's, it's incredible, yeah. 